Hello everyone, my name is Flair Blitz here, and welcome to Stitched, an RPG horror game that's been on Steam for a few months now, and I've been really, actually really been really wanting to play it, but I've had other games to look at, such as Aria Story, False Elf Trim, and other things alongside that. But I'm finally here, and if you've seen my other recent Let's Plays, like uh, Elevator Rituals and Lucy, I've been having a bit of a struggling time trying to actually get through this game, so. I wanted to actually play a game which I can actually just proceed through from the beginning. So let's just begin the tale, shall we? Of Stitched. And I know there's been other uh, Let's Plays I've been also doing this game as well in the past. But hey, this is our tale. The more you seek the light of hope, the further you will stray into the dark abyss. Intriguing. Anxious to return home, a young college student boarded the train, wondering what the future she has in store for her. The future has in store for her, sorry. Yet. Well. Well, this train ride has gone stitched up. She never made it. She's a sole survivor of this journey. Huh? Where am I? What is this place? My body, why does it feel so stiff? My hands. Hi, this can't be. What happened to me? You're like a doll. My f oh, I do like the um, the visuals. They're very impressive, and the animations and effects as well. They're already a a difference between the uh, the norm that we're used to. What's going on? Controls, movement, choice, select obviously by the arrows. Item hotkeys. Uh, Q U E A S D. Without the D though. Escape is to simply click escape and interact is using space and Oh, you can also use the mouse to inter interact with the game as well. The help menu can be viewed by selecting the toy from the main menu. New objective. The current objective is displayed in the top left of the main menu. Um. Ah, okay. I was worried that my webcam would cover up the objective, but then I realized that it's not a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. It's all good. Where am I? I should search for room for clues to my current whereabouts. Fright level, 20 of 100. Oh, is that like a sanity level? So if it reaches 100, then it's game over. Catherine Stockholms. Sounds like a Swedish name, probably. Stockholms, because capital city versus Stockholm. Let's see. Birthday, June the 25th. Five foot one. 93 elves. College student. An 18 year old girl with a sweet and honest personality. She was diagnosed with a serious heart condition at a young age. Her symptoms will worsen whenever she is frightened. This could potentially lead to her passing out or worse, death. So that is reflective of the fright level, as it were. Inventory, help menu, basic information of the game, essentials, nothing, I'm sure there'll be more to that as time goes on. No, we can have instant tests normal. Set dialogue to appear one by one or instantly. Nah, one by one because it gives it a more realistic flow. Movement delay, set character to turn to arrow direction before moving, no, full screen, no, because I like my let's plays to be... Um, be actually be, be able to be recorded. Uh, load. Okay, so looking at this, we can only save in certain areas of the game. Load. Obviously, we don't have anything. This does look very impressive, though. And I do like the colours as well. I might just be a bit biased because there's a, a violet blue nature to this game. So, fright level. Purple text represents the character's spoken dialogue. Blue text encapsulates in... Parent he says represents the character's force, yes. 
Full screen can be toggled with F5 or through the option menu. Not for me, thank you. I do like the gauge up top though. So, my first question is, how do we save the game? No. No, I don't want to look at myself. Angel. A strange statue. It reminds me of Mother. An event. Aww. Catherine. One thing that separates normal RPG game maker games from ones which have a lot of art in is just, well, as I just said, a lot of visual art goes behind these sort of things, and it's well worth paying the price to actually play the game for, which is money, obviously, <laughs> but it's so wonderful. It's like, it doesn't matter if you think your art style is not good, or if you think that your art style isn't worthy of being published online, or anything like that, or being put online. Almost everyone else is going to say that it's really nice, because we didn't see the start and finish process of the actual art piece itself, so when we only see the finished piece, we always think it's wonderful. And this is probably going to be a really, really great adventure. You had me so worried. Don't go running off like that again, sweetie. Mommy, I'm scared. There, there. It's alright, Mommy's here. And also there's a, um, a gallery. Catherine must inter interact with the statue to save the game. Yay! Oh, what? Aha! And it also shows the objective as well. Oh my. So, just a bunch of books. <laughs> a cute teddy bear. A pity it'll be a burden to carry. Just a bunch of books. The shelves are empty. I've had enough sleep for the time being. Is that blood? Ugh, the nose is covered in so much blood. Stay here and do not leave this room. Everything outside would be too much for you to handle. Hmm, that's all I can read. And we sparkles. An electric lamp. Catherine obtains an electric lamp. It's missing a battery. So we're just rooming around in the darkness for the time being. Some crumbled up papers. Probably nothing important. But the brackets alone indicate that it's thought and not saying it out loud. But the extra indication that color text implies, well, purple means they're saying it out loud and blue thing looks at the thing. Blue indicates that they're thinking is another good indicator. It has two different indicators to indicate of different events going on. Another event? Doctors. Mr. Doc Arms, test results of your daughter came in yesterday. It seems that she has a rather unusual heart condition. It's rather interesting that his name is called Dr. Fran, because there was, I believe there was a doctor or two in Fran Bow. It will start beating irregularly whenever she is frightened. There is no known cure, and it can be fatal. Doctor. Is there anything you can do for her? Please be calm, Mr. Stock Arms. Give her these pills. They will help alleviate the symptom. Alleviate. I was playing a game earlier and it had a lot of confusing names in it. And now... These pills look just like my heart medication. Swallow a pill? Fine, I'll swallow it as we can't take it around. Yay! Much better. These would be useful to have. Catherine obtains three stability pills. Press Q to use stability bill. Catherine's fright bar starts off, starts off at zero. If it reaches 100, she will die from a heart attack. Eek. Fright level zero of 100. A clean sink. Wash my hands. Yes. The handles won't budge. God damn it, what used to they have? Probably nothing important. 
Now's not the time. But what if you can't go later on, but you can go now? This will be your one in a lifetime opportunity to use it. Anyways, let's go on. The bathtub seems like it hasn't been used in a while. Oh dear. I probably should have taken a break from my last recording, actually. Never have interest in these drawers. What about this one? It's good to be thorough with your searches. A couple of batteries. Hey, obtained two batteries. I wonder. Ah, ah Fortis came to my head. Bingo. Bingo. Aw. I love the voices as well. They're so catchy and in tune. They're safer now. But I am pretty certain that these oops sorry. I'm pretty certain that Why can't we why can't we go down to the other Why can't we go down to the other memories? We're fixated on Oh wait, wait we just have to move down. There we go. I was so silly because I thought I was just fixed to one memory. Damn it. This door is so large. Hmm, wait. It's unlocked. It's eerie outside. Head out. Well then. What's going on here? Prisoner room one. Wait, why am I in a prison? New objective. What is the objective? Why am I in a prison? Uh, I don't feel safe here. I need to find a way out. It could be the case that once you try to escape, then... You won't be able to be free. Blood! What happened here? 4%. I should find something to cover the blood stain. Okay. So it seems that blood is also a thing in the game which we need to be aware of. And this is a thing over here as well. Uh, I don't want to stay in the room. Everything outside would be too much for you to handle. Fake blankets, cover the bed, take a blanket, most certainly obtain a blanket. Oh, I wanted to take both with me. Why can't I take both? Can I take the towel as well, clean bath towel? No, oh, but I want to ruin the thick, velvety feels of it. I need something to cover the bloodstains with. Blanket! No. Oh. No, oh, I want. Oh my, it looks like we're looks like we're not alone here in this realm. Just go past. There's, what in the world was that? I can't stay here. I need to find a way out. Well, once we for sure we're not gonna be able to pass through here. I need to find a way to get across. Maybe a plank will do the trick. Anything will do the trick. Okay, so let's not step in blood, because that actually probably increases our fright level. But one thing I'm thinking of is, how much do these pills heal us by? Like, is it just 20%, or is it a bigger amount than I think they do? Because if it's just 20%, then yeah. Right. Avoiding the pools of blood. This text is in another language. I can't read any of it. Do you know which language it's in? Name. Michael Bansley. Age 19. Prisoner ID 3920. Once the class president, now a prison, uh, sorry, a prison resident. What is this place? And who the hell orchestrated this place to be how it is? Let's not step in blood, thank you very much. But these cracks also give me some suspicion. The medicine bottles are empty. What's this written on the label? All I can read is anabolic androgenic. Ah, oh, more. Well, that certainly is something, isn't it? This can't be happening. This can't be happening. This can't be happening. I can't. Then, how do we get those items, then? 
Hmm. So, there is stuff, but at the same time, we can't go near it. That's just great, isn't it, now? Oh, yeah, we can't read that. Push yourself away. A wooden table. It seems light for its size. And there's a door on the other side. A hole behind the table. Move the table. Very good. So, how much do these heal us by? I just want to test it out. Okay, so mo more than 20%. Prisoner room G. A symbol on the floor. It looks like a flower. I'm not going near it, thank you very much. The only way to deliver absolute justice is to purge the guilty. Mercy is but a hindrance. And who the hell is saying that? A different pill. I wonder what it's for. Obtains a speed pill. Press W to use speed pill. Hmm. It could be useful for escaping monsters. Name. Haley Mason, age 28. Prisoner ID 2402. From the outfit, I'm guessing this woman used to be a police officer. Could be. In memory of Sophia Mason. Many times I wish I could turn back time and pull the trigger. I would get, if anything, to see you again, my dear sister. Whole story. Criminals, thieves, crooks, they all deserve to die. Every single one of them. Okay, that's very abrupt and to the point, but why the heck? Hecking heck. Page 42. Yesterday a man pleaded to me for his life, claimed what he did was just petty thief. Petty theft, I had no choice. I need to feed my children, he said. After some contemplation, I decided that a few rounds in his head should teach him never to steal again. Stealing is no good. A well-made bed seems fancy for a prison. Yes, our prisoners lived, sorry, live in luxury. I'm not interacting or going over that, okay, unfortunately. So, okay, moving on. Oh, shoot, the battery. Luckily, I still have a battery left. So it runs out of... Time to vents. Those bunnies, they weren't there before. Why me? Why does this have to happen to me? Ah, uh, the fright has gone up. Prisoner room G. Another statue that resembles mother. How many of these are in here? A fair few, if I must say so myself. Hmm, we can't go across there. But I don't want to just go straight down into another room. I want to see the sceneries and what it has to offer. Blood on the wall! Prisoner room B. Oh. If we hold shift down, then our movement speed slightly decreases. Stability pill. Only one of them. In the beginning, we found three of them. I'm going to see what happens when the levels reach a high amount. Well, we, well, the monster couldn't get across there anyways, unless it can jump. Uh, over control room. A map of facility. I can use it to navigate my way out. Catherine obtains a map. Aha! Uh -ha. So at the moment we are probably. Oh my! That looks rather suspicious. Doll design lab. So which? Where are we exactly on now? Wait a minute. Stockholm's private research. I don't understand. Is this father's doll factory? Catherine can closely observe certain items by selecting them in her inventory. Essential map. So let's look at this. 
Um, so we must be on the first floor because that's where the prison is. Then there's the wreck quarter over to the right side of the east wing. So we're on the east wing. That much we can tell because that's the way the map is pointing us at. Notice. If power usage is at 100%, automatic lock system for security gate A and B will be disabled. That's either good or bad. Good in some scenarios, bad for others. Some broken CDs. These CD covers remind me of a story of a girl trapped in an abandoned hospital. I'm trying to think of a similar game where a girl was trapped in a hospital. Nothing springs to mind. I returned from my lunch break and saw what was left of my co-workers' bodies on the floor. This is too much. Who in the world could have done such a thing? Maybe this is my imagination. Maybe I'm working too hard. Whatever it is, I can't bring myself to believe that any of this is real. Oh, dear me. The screen shows the current amount of power being consumed. Total power consumption, 0%. Monitor A power supply, 0%. B, 0%. C, 0%. And D, 0%. There's light outside. We can escape. Okay. Nothing of interest in these drawers. Though it is good to check drawers. Just in case if they do have something. Because naturally they won't shine. For us to just go about. Out of the way. Don't want blood. I thought blood was bad. I thought that increases our. Oh it does. Okay so we're at 19% now. Damn it. The computer won't turn on. I've already checked that. So let's show the other rooms then. So holding shift. Okay, so I'm going to hold it now. It slightly decreases our movement speed when we hold it down. Is that something important we need to realize for later on? Mm, the gate is locked. Hmm, I wonder if there's a way to open this. Security gate B. So, let's just be very careful where we're walking. Because we don't want to die. That's our main goal in life, is to not die. Right. Prisoner room B. This one can be opened? This is... What was that? Oh, dear me. It's a heart shape in front of us. Another symbol. This one represents a heart. These have something in common. Alice Whitman's Diary, page 1. It was an accident. Why would anyone believe me? I would never purposely injure anyone, let alone a close friend. Yeah. Said by everyone. I'm joking. The, can the trash can is empty. The can trash is empty. That's what I was about to say, but no. Ooh. There's so many drawers. Notes on mental illness, narcissistic personality disorder. Mental conditions such as a narcissistic personality disorder can come at times lead to homicide in agitation. It is advised that individuals diagnosed with this condition undergo therapy. Alice Whitman's Diary, page 2. The murder wasn't my fault. The murder wasn't my fault. You keep repeating that to yourself in a case of denial. A poster of the play, The White Roses. Alice Whitman is a star of this play. A play where she shot and killed a fellow actor in front of 2,000 audiences. What a stupid idea. A plain bed, but it serves its purpose. It might be plain, but it does what it does. A banquet of red roses. Alice Whitman's Diary, page 3. I was framed. I knew it. These actions, they can't possibly be mine. I don't remember anything. I don't remember. I just don't. So I must be innocent. So we've had a flower symbol. Now a heart symbol. But the broken glass does increase our stress level, almost certainly. Excuse me. 
It's locked. God damn it, but the room is shining, indicating that light passes through, which also indicates that we can go through, but no. Nah. It won't budge. God damn it. Right, so. From what we can tell, this room. The bunnies, they're gone. Excellent. They're gone. They are wonderfully gone in memory of Sophia Mason. Ah, uh, they were here, but now they're gone. So the flower symbol doesn't actually have anything on it. Prisoner room D. Hmm. What of that body, though? That dismissed body. That bod... Nah, I can't. You can't go up there, okay. Okay, so we still need to find something which will aid us in our survival. A plank of some sorts. Can't go that way, can't go that way. We really are confined to only so many rooms, I must say. One. That. Anything in here? Anything at all? Mirror. No. I don't want to look at myself. No. Oh, this... <laughs> Oh, that was already there. Damn it, I thought that was something else new. None of that text is legible. That's fine, nothing important. I don't want to stay here, you know. I don't want to be a subject of Dr. Money. Uh, clean bath town, now is not the time. Nothing important, that's stuck. The counter is empty, for goodness sakes, why would a counter be empty at a time like this? Nothing of interest in these drawers, damn it. That's empty. That's not readable. So yeah, a very, very interesting start. Damn it, I just walked in blood and it increased by 4%. Prisoner room D. God damn it. I didn't mean to do that, it just came across as that. Hmm, why can I find something? This is bugging me now. I can't get over there. Like, if I try and get too close, it just won't be eligible. Hmm. Oh, gosh. Well, on the bright side, we don't gain any more stress by looking at it a second and third time and any other times. But still annoying nonetheless. Because there's an item over there, but we can't actually get to it. Because, well, it freaks her out. And I'm not surprised. If you saw a dead body, wouldn't that freak you out? Even if it's just a little bit freaked out? I'm so cold, man. When I see the dead, all I see is pride and joy. Okay. That's locked. This room is still... Uh, of some use, I believe. That's that. That's that. I'm... I'm actually str struggling to find something. So... A pill that gives one brief of... Sorry, one brief adrenaline rush. Used for powering my electric lantern. Aha, uh -huh. so with each of these monitors, you can put a different amount of power into them. But I do believe that, um, yeah, so all of these have different uh, temperatures, not temperatures, percentage of power that you can input into the computer at a time. So what we have to figure out is um, a measurement which we can put input in, which will allow us to use up exactly 100%. Definitely not 95 though, that is literally the worst thing you can put in. So we're at 50 at the moment. Oh dear, I inputted too much. Aha, okay, so I managed to do it correctly. I thought I overdosed on it, but I did the exact amount. So, monitor A, 25%. Monitor B, 6%. Monitor C, 
monitor C 25% and monitor D 44%. And that is how we do it. But computer won't turn back on. Oh, hunky dory me. And I also stepped in a pool of blood just now, which is not great. But we managed to go across this now. Excellent. As you know what, we'll save in a different slot. Item. A long wooden board. It looks quite sturdy. Most certainly we shall pick it up. Why not, eh? Let's go. Well then, let's not go that way then. We need to wait another time so that monster may go away. So, stepping on blood splats increases your fright level by 4%. And now we're going to traverse through the realms of this stitched arcane to try and escape this realm. But looking at what the people I follow on YouTube put up, uh, this game, it has multiple endings to it. This wooden board should make a decent bridge. Yay! An old diary. Philip is a good boy. Philip does what mummy tells him to, bringing a friends home to play with and punish them, them with mummy's knife if they are naughty. How disturbing. I agree, it is very disturbing. Why would you punish other people's kids? It's strange that there's nobody around. A rat! But that wasn't frightening enough to increase your fright level. The shells are empty. Shelves are empty, alright. Prisoner room F. And there's a... Oh, there's a fruit. Nicely done. God, that's like a... I'm not sure what kind of fruit that is. How would you treat us like this? My sister and I served you tirelessly these past eight years. What do you mean you to deserve this fate? Are we nothing more than properties in your eyes? Yeah, in a doll's factory you probably are, because... I didn't see that pool of blood, for goodness sakes! Page 10. She promised to protect us, but where is she now? Page 11. I trusted her. She said she was willing to sacrifice everything for us. Yet, why are we the ones to be sacrificed? Don't ask me. Really don't. I have no idea. Okay, let's just walk around carefully from now on, because for goodness sakes, we're just going to keep stepping in blood otherwise. Name, Charlotte Lo Charlotte Lawrence, age 30, prisoner ID 1620. Charlotte, that's an elegant name. Um, in the RPG Horror World, if you played Hera Charlotte... Charlotte is a complete psychopath who doesn't know any kind of morals. What was that? Oh? Oh, a yarn. A spool of thread, very useful for sewing. Catherine obtains a spool of thread. Seems like this bed hasn't been used for several months. So that creek must have been the floor. Or something else is looming about which we do not know about. Regardless of the case, let's move on. Another statue over there. Very, very good. Something positive is deriving from all this. Yeah, we'll save. No, I think we're good, actually. Uh... Excellent. Now let's go into this room then. And see what other mysteries we can find. Ah, we have yet to find the other symbol. Mm. Excuse me. So we've got a fruit symbol, a heart symbol, a flower symbol, and something else. And they all have different numerical values. Wait, I saw that flower symbol before. I spotted it in room G. I believe the room name is a clue towards what it is. 
a locker with several strange symbols that can only be opened with a four digit combination. I have no idea. A equals. Aha! So. Convert the room names into numbers. Input them in with that. Each number represents a number. And. Well, sorry, each sum represents a number. And then you input them all in, into there. So. Oh, for goodness sakes, I tried to take a screenshot and it just. Damn it! Sorry, folks. We'll be right back. It's referring to the prisoner numbers. Yes, it is. So, in RPG Maker games, don't press F12. But at the same time in Steam, you need to press F12 to make screenshots. Freaking awesome on my character because it crashes the game. A lot of several strange. It looks like you're going to be able to a four digit combination, which we cannot decide right now because I don't know what the other symbol is. A doll there. Hi, just an ordinary doll. I do like the uh, the CG, the custom graphics. This is just not possible. How can those fiends be alive? And why are they attacking us? What did I do deserve this? Everything and anything, anything and everything. The smell of alcohol is unbearable. I can agree. Certain alcohols, but cider is always very nice. Catherine obtains a spool of thread. Actually, I've not drinking in years. Since 2015. Um, alcohol actually doesn't allow me to sleep at night. Very strange, isn't it? Yeah, I thought you might say that. And that. And that. Wait, how dare you call me dumb? Hey, I'm not dumb. You're the dumb one. So, this room has the fruit. So which room has that other symbol on it? Philip Thompson, room A, Alice Woodman, B, El Elizabeth Loom, C, Michael Bansley, D, E, F, G, H. My name is not here, that's reassuring. Why do you mean it's locked? Why do you mean it's locked? Yeah, that's a good way of looking at it. Have we gone down here before? I think we probably have. Maybe not. I don't think we have done. Aha! Aha! What a third loss symbol. So now, I believe that the combination will be eight. Oh, we put them up on screen! I didn't even know how far something we were supposed to memorise. For goodness sakes, I did not know this would load up. If this would load up, I wouldn't have done all this figuring out. I would be able to just look at it and be able to memorise it. Although, of course, um, putting down what each symbol means is very important, obviously. Um, eight, six, six, seven. And it opens up. Catherine obtains a prison key card. Why did the light go out? The light went out. I swear a light just went out. What are you trying to cast upon me, game? Dang it. Dang it's a help of all of yop. Right, so we've got a key. The gate requires a key to unlock. Excellent. We passed through that. So, we'll leave it here, folks, for now. That has been a certainly very interesting adventure. Well, that has certainly been a very interesting adventure so far. And we'll be looking more into the undergrowth of this prison and all the other floors in the next time within this doll factory in Stitched. Thank you very much for watching and see each other on the next time. Have a wonderful day and take care of yourselves.